I am living my life the way that I think should be lived, and that's um, staying pure. So. so you really believe in no sex before marriage? No, I don't at all. Traditional ideas about purity are suddenly everywhere. And so I want to talk to you today about pursuing the mission of purity. Purity rings? Purity, yes. Purity, okay, let's talk about that. Women are still led to believe that our moral compass lies somewhere between our legs, literally. Each year, thousands of purity balls where young girls pledge their virginity to their fathers are held across almost every state in the country. And all told, American taxpayers shell out about $50 million a year on abstinence-only education in our schools. There is no such thing as safe sex. This girl's gonna end up sterile or dead. But the abstinence-only movement has never been about science, public health, or concern for young people. The abstinence-only programs had no impact on whether or not participants abstain from sex. So what is it about virginity that's so politically useful to the conservative movement? A woman's deepest fulfillment is in motherhood. And I think, too, that you underestimate the pride that women take in domesticity. So what the virginity movement really wants from women is submissiveness. It is press that a man marry a virgin. Young man, if you're dating a woman who boasts of being a feminist, who wants to drag you around like a dog on the end of a rope, run! Now, feminism is what I oppose, and feminism has led women astray. Feminism is sexism. Virginity movement extremists may sound ridiculous, but the results of their politics could not be more real. Planned Parenthood is invested in promiscuity, and I shall be looking for ways to unfund every other entity like them. And truly, this is a movement. They're actively working to roll back women's rights, using the purity myth to do it. And the man needs to pursue the woman. You know, some people think, oh, that's just sexist. That's, oh, that's, you know, all these antiquated ideas and gender stereotyping. Personally, I love gender stereotyping. <laughs>